I'm Kira Wilmot. I live in Florida. I was arrested because I brought in my science project to show my teacher. The science project was an advanced volcano. When I put the aluminum foil into the bottle, the lid popped off and a little bit of smoke climbed out of the bottle. The principal asked what was going on and I told him it was just a little science experiment. But then I was pulled out of class and was taken to the discipline office and was arrested there. I thought I wasn't gonna see her that afternoon, but when I got off the bus, she was waiting there for me. I thought everything was gonna be okay, but then I realized she has two felony charges. Honestly, I felt like I was a crazy person. They made me believe that I was a criminal. There are some mornings like I couldn't get up and go to work. The media's hounding us and tears and just looking at the future because her life is messed up. It's heartbreaking. The school to prison pipeline is practices and policies that push students out of the education system and into the criminal justice system. Criminalizing them through arrests in school for very subjective offenses. Really high suspension rates, expulsion rates, especially young people of color. We have people in our schools that treat young children of color as if they are suspicious every day. Heavy security, metal detectors, things that feel more like a prison than a place where you would learn. Really has alienated young people from their schools. We at the Advancement Project are trying to dismantle the school to prison pipeline by partnering with local groups working on this issue, changing school discipline policies, codes of conduct, student handbooks, so that they use less punitive measures. You have to be able to get law enforcement to understand that their role is not to discipline, but to maintain safety. A teacher should at least once interact with the student one-on-one. -on -one. Just make that student feel like it's going to be okay. There's been a lot of pressure on federal government exerted by both national groups like Advancement Project and grassroots groups around the country. And the federal government recently came out with guidance directing districts on best practices around school discipline. All my charges have been dropped, but the lawyer says that it takes five years to clear each felony off the record. What happened with Kiara is really a stark example of stuff that's happening with students every day. Pushing a young person out through zero tolerance doesn't help academic outcomes. It doesn't help achievement in our schools. And so we've been seeing schools changing, beginning to look at discipline in a different way.